Hey guys! I've heard from a lot of you guys and a lot of you were interested in seeing a haul video of the things that I got during my Roam Around the World vlog series. If you are new to my channel, I had a, a two-week vlog series called Roam Around the World where I went to three different countries plus one country during my 12-hour layover when I was going back home. I went to Ho Chi Minh City, Tokyo, Japan, Manila, Philippines, and Seoul, South Korea for 12 hours and I accumulated a few things. I didn't get a ton of things like my Filipino vloggers uh, back in the Philippines because I saw their videos and they brought like a ton of stuff and I knew that since I was traveling for two weeks I packed you know a little bit more than usual and um, I was very conscious about the things that I needed to bring back home mostly because I didn't have that much room so the things that I have are things that like I thought that I really wanted but not necessarily a need so let's start with the things that I got in the Philippines. So as you guys know, I was only in the Philippines for about two and a half days, maybe three days, and I only got two items. First one is this little item right over here. It is a silly sponge, silicone sponge, that I got in Divisoria, which is the Filipino market. Most popular because it's like, a place that you can haggle, very inexpensive, and this is a silicone sponge that you use that you use to put on your makeup. It actually does a great job of not wasting any product like you know a beauty blender would be. They say that if you dampen the beauty blender, you don't waste that much product, but still I feel like there's a lot of product that's still inside the beauty blender. This was I think about like 50 Philippine peso. And then the last thing that I got, I know I only got two things, uh, was this kind of alcohol spray um, that I actually saw Sei use in Japan and she let me try it and I love the scent. It's uh, called Ethyl Alcohol by the brand Femme. It's mainly like a 70% rubbing alcohol solution, mainly for women, but I actually like it and the reason why it's for women is because I think it's because it has that um, kind of a different scent rather than like the alcohol scent and it's supposed to be safe for skin and it disinfects without drying your skin. I think that's really important and that's why um, after I went home from um, you know, Japan, I had Irish actually pick me up one of these at Watson's and love this stuff. The next place maybe that I'll talk to you is Vietnam and uh, I only grabbed one item and it was during the Mekong Delta tour. It is this bag of goodies. I got five of them, but they are basically these peanut brittle candies that I got um, in the Mekong Delta. There was a village that was actually making them right in front of us, and it was really cool to see the process that it took to make kind of cool treats like these, and I had a taste, or a tester, a sample. Sample. I had a sample of one of these, and it tasted really, really good, so I went ahead and got um, five because they had like this deal if you buy four you get one free and I like you know supporting things like that because I know that they don't have that much in the villages so it's good to be able to support uh, smaller businesses like that. Uh, next location is my 12 hour layover in South Korea and if you guys remember that last Roam Around the World vlog video I left the airport like I actually left immigration and their security to wait for a temple tour that I actually went on and I had a couple hours to wait until that tour started and so they had a skin food right in the arrival area and I got like five items and silly of me to not remember that if I leave the airport I have to come back and if I brought items that are more than like 100 ml, then I would have to check that in. And if you guys remembered, I actually checked in all my stuff in Vietnam, and Korea was like a 12 hour passing, so I couldn't check, check anything in, so I had like three other items that I actually had to discard when I got back. But luckily, these two items here, and the first one is this black sugar mask, uh, which is kind of like a wash off, kind of solution that you can put on your skin. It has special food ingredients for the skin, contains many nutritive ingredients such as fresh plants, fruits, ex extract. And then the second one is this other item which is the rice mask. It's also a wash off mask as well. And lastly, Japan. Japan was the 
the area, uh, Tokyo specifically, where we went shopping quite a bit and we went to many different places which ranged from, you know, a drugstore, we went to Don Quixote, went to Nike, we went to all these like smaller stores where I picked up some Kit Kat bars. So I'll start off with Don Quixote. If you guys don't know what Don Quixote is, it's like a pretty crazy, I want to say like a Walmart but not as large but in a smaller area but still as dense and they have a whole bunch of stuff that range from beauty, skincare, food, clothing, electronics, optical. First items that I have to show you guys are these face masks and I got three of them because they were like three for 300 yen or 350 so it was about like a dollar and some change per face mask. First one is the black pearl which looks a little bit like this. Next one is the moonstone. I've never really heard of moonstones. And lastly is truly a interesting one. It is this one with a little horsey. It's the horse oil. I have no idea what that is, what are the benefits for that actual <laughs> ingredient, but that's what I got. I am notorious for having the most dry and patchy skin, especially on my hands, and so I got a pair of hand creams. Uh, this one is the Nail and Hand Cream by Tiffa. It is the white, uh, white, this is the color pink, similar to my hair. Uh, it is the pink container. I tried it in the store, it smelled really pleasant, and I thought this would be a really good addition to something that I can keep like in the car, at my desk at work, or even something at my desk here at home. And then lastly, it is another hand cream. It is a Night Renew Moist Repair hand cream. Um, I I just remember it having a nice kind of lavender scent to it. It has beeswax and coenzyme Q10 silk, whatever that is. My favorite item that I got in Don Quixote is this bag. This is a kind of nylon bag that has a little bit of like a, a kind of pattern here similar to Bottega Veneta as a kind of over under overlap strip pattern. I got this because I felt like it fit my laptop, which it does, my MacBook Pro 15 inch. This is perfect for work. I've used it a few times and it is the perfect size for just kind of going in, going out of work, the days that I don't go to the gym. The next place I want to talk about is Uniqlo or Uniqlo. I've been pretty accustomed to saying Uniqlo because it's like the Japanese way of saying it. I got this re uh, pocketable Boston bag, which is, you know, a foldable bag that turns into a duffel bag. If you guys remember my last day in Vietnam, I had to transfer a few of my items from my large check-in bag into this duffel bag because I just simply did not have any room and I wanted to, to uh, I wanted to distribute the weight uh, between two different bags so I can check in both. So this is about like 20 US dollars, which is a good deal. Perfect to take with me whenever I travel elsewhere where I, you know, might have uh, the urge to like purchase something, but I don't have that much room so I can just whip this little bad boy up and then use it as another bag. One of the days we went to Nike Town in uh, Tokyo and I got two shirts. Whenever I go to a new place, I like to stop by a Nike if it is in that particular city and buy a shirt that has the name of the city that I am traveling to. So I got two shirts. This one you probably remember from my layover in South Korea where I wore a Tokyo shirt in South Korea, but it says Tokyo. It's the Nike Run Club shirt. It has it also on this side right over here, NRC. The last shirt is a Nike Tokyo shirt with a green swoosh. At the time, this swoosh was, was the same color of uh, the color of my hair, the green color, but since then, if you saw my last vlog, um, I colored my hair during like a Q&A video of Roam Around the World where I talk about like my expenses. When we went to Harajuku, I made a few purchases at the Etude House over there. If you guys don't know what Etude House is, it's like a like an Asian, I think it's like, I think it might be Korean, but it's a Korean skincare brand where they have a whole bunch of different um, beauty, skincare, a few makeup items, and I got two items right over here. I'll talk about the first one. It is this peel. Perfect Scrub, which is peeling and brightening. Uh, it is the AHA Berry Peel. If you guys remember last year when I went to Taiwan, I actually got the, the serum uh, that is the same collection as the AHA 
bright peel, the berry bright peel, and I really liked it. The smell was super pleasant. I liked how it felt like on my skin, so I tried on a little patch of this on my skin for the perfect scrub and I liked it a lot and I liked the line so I'm like why not I got this kind of three-step process where it helps your pores so the first step is it helps open your pores I believe it's a strip and the next one it cleans blackheads and then the third one is that it closes the pores. It's a three-step clear nose kit. The day that we went to go to karaoke, uh, we went to this, I forgot what the drugstore is, but we went to this drugstore and I had previously looked at an article online about, you know, Japanese drugstore items that you need to get. And the one that I was really excited to find was this item, I got two of them, but it is basically the Biore UV Aqua Rich Watery Essence. Um, and it has an SPF of 50, and it is PA++++. There are four pluses on this PA, but pretty much you use this underneath your makeup. It's supposed to be kind of like a little bit of everything, a little bit of sun protection, a little bit of essence to help, you know, um, make your skin super supple also a good primer for your makeup so i got a couple of them i haven't used them quite yet because i was waiting to make this video but um, i'm excited to use these another item is this item it is the minion amino moist it's supposed to help your skin um, retain its elasticity because it was on that list and i was crunched for time i was just looking for things that I can't get in the US and something that I can get in Japan that was fairly priced and this was one of those items. So you guys know that Shiseido is a Japanese brand and whenever you get Shiseido here in the US, it is, you know, mid to luxury um, in terms of like the brand and like the price point, etc. So there was this Shiseido kind of oil blotting and sweat sheets. And I just remember this being super cheap in the drugstore, and so I just got one to try it out. I was intending to use it when I was in Asia, but I just forgot. And then lastly, another Shiseido item. They are these cotton, um, they're not rounds, but they're cotton squares. They look like that, but they are from Shiseido, and they are really, really, really good quality. To give you some context, I get these same cotton squares that I use for my Missler water. This is usually $10 at Sephora. When I got it, this in Japan, it was $2. So you best believe that I got one, two, and my other one is in my bathroom. And this is perfect to stock the last items that I don't know if I will kind of go through it right now, but I got a whole bunch of stuff throughout Japan, whether it is at Odaiba, whether it's at uh, Don Quixote, whether it was at the drugstore. I got a whole bunch of Kit Kat, Kit Kat, <laughs> Kit Kat bars because if you guys know about Japan, they go crazy over their Kit Kat bars. And I have a whole bunch, but that is a small fraction of like the many different flavors that they have existing in Japan. And they have very peculiar flavors. Like I looked online to see what they had just to get my head and wrapped around the idea of bringing some Kit Kats. For example, they have like red bean or they have um, sea salt and they have like random flavors so I'll just quickly go over what I have if you guys want to see a video of me kind of trying these Kit Kats uh, out on camera let me know down below if you want to see that because I would gladly love to do that for you guys the first one is you know of course the green tea Kit Kats they are kind of essential um, you can even get them here in, in the States next one is the strawberry cheesecake Kit Kat, these ones. I also got chocolate, I think this is like a chocolate and nut Kit Kat. I had to make sure because I gave a few of these to Kayo and Lana and Kayo is allergic to nuts so I made sure to tell him and his mom do not eat this one because this one has nuts. This was this one's probably the more peculiar one that I got but it is the Shinsu apple. It tastes like apples and chocolate. Um, I also got another green tea Kit Kat. This one is a raspberry Kit Kat. Oh, this one was really good. This one's like a custard cream Kit Kat. Custard cream. 
Oh my gosh. This one is the Uji Matcha, which is different from the green tea one. And then, of course, got a dark chocolate. This one is a strawberry Kit Kat version. And then this one is the Sakura Matcha, which I believe might have a little bit of Sakura, which is cherry blossom. And then lastly, it is this one. This is the Hokkaido Melon version. Oh my gosh. But I think that is all that I have in uh, my haul video of the things I got from Asia. Thank you so much for following first, following the vlog. And thank you so much for watching this specific video. It means a lot to me. And if you guys want to see more videos like this or have any recommendations of any videos that I should be doing in the future, let me know down below. Don't forget to thumbs up this video if you enjoyed. And subscribe if you want to see more content from me. And I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.